this is for my sweet friend Shonda, who is Slim Cards here on YouTube. Hey Shonda! And so I want to share this card with you first. And this is from, a paper line is from Creative Imaginations. And yes, this is the exact same design as my other video. <laughs> but it's so much easier for me if I have a design that I really, really like, then I go ahead and go crazy and I do um, several of them, sometimes in different colors. And so anyway, I distressed the papers with um, gesso and I added um, snow tacks. And I like to distress my edges and um, I've torn the paper up here and added some lace. I hung a um, birdcage charm here that I um, just sewed or painted white with a flower and then I hung a chain to connect through some other charms here and um, I connected that with an eyelet. And so I um, used a paper doily and some of my favorite um, spellbinder dies and my Martha Stewart punch for some added layering. And then for my cluster here, I have some uh, wedding applique pieces here. This is a Cherry Lynn Flourish Dye, um, pearl sprays from Hobby Lobby that I love using. And uh, my flower cluster is um, mostly, um, I think they're Wild Orchid Crafts slash Prima Flowers. And then I have some teeny tiny blue flowers. I'm not sure what line that is. That could be from Prima. And I do have some cheesecloth in the back here, um, a double seam binding bow out of, um, sorry, seam binding, and a heart, pearl heart here. And I love using this lace from my friend Mimi, who is Mimi Johnson Designs. Hey, girl. And then at the bottom, um, I tore the paper there and added um, uh, some corrugated cardboard that I got from a box and then I painted that white and have some lace peeking out here and I also have some lace peeking out here and there there's some here and then also I think there's some here as well and let's see oh and the, this trim here is oops, this trim here is from Joanne's and I got some flat back pearls that's um, from Wild Orchid Crafts and then I printed my sentiment um, from my computer and this um, gorgeous frame here, I think it's a metal frame. This is from Prima. And I know Hobby Lobby has um, the same resin um, resin one. And I have a teeny tiny little butterfly here with a teeny tiny little pearl. And that um, is using my butterfly um, punch from Martha Stewart. And then I have a um, loaded bag, loaded envelope. Um, this one's kind of hard to share, but I used this gorgeous um, Stamperia paper. Um, I forget the name of that paper line. I don't think it's Blue Land, I'm sorry. Um, I may have to look it up and I'll leave it down below. And, but isn't this gorgeous paper? And you know guys, my favorite colors are pink and white, but I loved using this shabby um, Stamperia paper. It's just beautiful. And so anyway, um, I created it in a 5x6 size and my gusset here, um, I think it's 2.5 inches. Is it 2.5? I, I think it's 2.5. Um, anyway, as far as the front here, I have some lace here at the top and some flat back pearl trim. Um, these flowers here, this flower I've been hoarding forever. And um, that's an old Prima flower. And I'm pretty sure I got that at Michael's like years ago. And then this um, pearl center here, that's probably from Michael's from an, a flower that I pulled that off of. And I have some teeny tiny little flowers here from Wild Orchid Crafts. I have a seam binding bow hanging from that. And this bling heart piece is from Hobby Lobby. And um, probably from Shonda. I know Shonda gave me I think she gave me some of these <laughs> and then I have a little goodie here I actually had to cut this goodie down and uh, remove the packaging so I could fit it in here and this is using my spellbinder die for the topper um, I fussy cut a little butterfly here and then I add a little wild craft flower um, and all my flowers I do gesso 
Um, and then here's a paper clip that I made from one of these butterfly pieces from this um, sticker set. And I just dangled a little pearl here. And my flower cluster. And by the way, I got um, some of these blue flowers um, from Renee Bouquet's shop on Etsy. And I'm going to leave um, her link down below to her shop. And um, for this pocket, I actually fussy cut this out. I'm going to take this out so you can kind of see a little bit. So I fussy cut this out um, to create a pocket. So, um, of course, I don't have any room to put much in there. And I used my Cherry Lynn dies here. Um, let's see, if you have any questions on what dies I've used, just um, let me know below. And so here are the blue flowers that I got from... Uh, Renee Bouquet's shop and in some of her some of her sets she includes these flowers and this probably was from her set too and then um, I got this also from her shop and it was a pretty thick flower with many layers and I just tore the top layer off so I can fit that there and I have a double seam binding bow with a pearl heart center and this very faint pale blue lace I think I probably got that from Etsy a long time ago. And then um, for the bottom, I have a flat, some flat back pearls here, um, lace from Joann's, and this tool trim is from Hobby Lobby. And I think that's for the front. And I forgot to put my stamp in the back. <laughs> um, but anyway, the lace this gorgeous lace here is also from Renee Bouquet's shop isn't that beautiful and um, I don't know why I bought only one yard but I need to get more of that and then so I added more uh, flat back pearl trim actually I just went around the whole thing added um, flat back pearls and the lace um, on the back here so um, let's see and I made this um, rosette here using the Sizzix uh, Tim Holtz rosette um, die set and I added this XOXO this is from my creative time and um, and I added a little flower from Wild Record Crafts and a little bow and lace the lace is from Michael's many years back and a little pearl heart center here and this um, uh, flower with the pearl center is from my sweet friend Sandy who is decorate your life here on YouTube and there's a um, I see there was a pearl center and um, and that's it and then the rest here are um, goodies oh, I, let me, I'll show you this one I won't show you everything um, these are some bows that I made sorry for that glare from um, my creative time using the I think that's the fun stitched size. And I added some pearl centers, but of course she can pull that off if she wants to. And um, this bow too is also from My Creative Time. And I added this um, clothespin that I made. I just added some lace here at the top and some tulle and dangled some pearls. And uh, she can use this for another project if she wants. And, um, and you know, recently I found out her favorite color is actually blue and all these years I've been craving pink for Shonda so I'm so sorry Shonda <laughs> um, let's see and everything else here are just goodies that she can um, look at or open when, when she opens her package and let's see and I do have um, an embellishment box that I made for her and I know she does some shabby um, work even though um, she does actually she's very versatile she does like shabby um, she does dimensional cards she does um, uh, altered stuff and you, and she can paint this girl can paint uh, anyway so here's the embellishment box um, I made for her I have some bows with it which I did add some centers not to all of them but she can use it for some projects and some um, uh, plastic flowers with some rhinestone centers in that. I think I got these from Wild Record Crafts. And then this here container from Hobby Lobby, I added some blue seed beads. These are size 12. They're perfect for shakers or um, 
yeah, any projects. And I'm gifting her some of my flowers that I've been hoarding forever. These are from Prima. Of course, they're discontinued. And I have some um, shabby trim with some flowers you can use, some lace, some pearls, and more trim. And I have some butterflies and bows in different colors, fabric bows. And then I have another um, um, jar here. These are with some white, almost translucent kind of um, seed beads that she can use for her projects. And then these little spools have, um, what do you call, baker's twine in blue. And this one is some lace and it's coming apart. I need to fix that. And I have some lace appliques and some heart centers and flowers that she can use for projects. And, um, and I believe that's it. And of course, she can reuse this um, uh, for any other shabby projects. And so that's my share. I hope she likes everything. And uh, if you guys have any questions about any of my projects, let me know. And I thank you all for watching. Bye for now.